The devastation in some communities in Florida's northeast corner was almost complete. So as you look around here, uh, you know, you see some homes that are now just rubble. Uh, this stuff's coming in, it's fierce, and, and it just is unstoppable. In its wake, Helene left a chaotic landscape of overturned boats, destroyed homes, and whole communities underwater. We're very fortunate. We're very fortunate that we're alive. Through the day, authorities provided updates on those who perished, killed by falling trees, falling debris, and flash floods. At least three first responders have died, officials said. We have active search and rescue out there going through every single structure, making sure if there's anybody in there that still um, could be rescued. Authorities are also struggling to find long-term shelter for those whose homes have been destroyed and damaged. And meanwhile, every power crew in the region began the difficult work to restore electricity to the more than 3.3 million people in Florida, the Carolinas, Ohio, and Tennessee who woke up Saturday morning in the dark. And crews from as far away as San Francisco were on their way to help. The big problem now, water water everywhere, flooding roads and swallowing communities. Those living downstream of this North Carolina dam were told to evacuate for fear the dam might fail. Similar evacuation orders were issued for dams in North Carolina and Tennessee. The storm system that was once Hurricane Helene is now stalled over the Tennessee Valley and it's forecast to dump at least another five centimeters of rain before the system clears Sunday. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.